Just laying on the ground is the best part. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Glow Strong, a web series about fitness, wellness, and good food. I'm Leslie Genoa and I'm your host. Today's episode is Bar Bar Bar. First we'll be hanging out with Brittany Reed and making some awesome nutritious snacks. Then we'll be heading down to Project Bar with Sasha where she's going to pump my booty. And then lastly we're going to be meeting up with Judd from the Capitol who's going to teach us all about a healthy cocktail bar and recipes. We are here with Brittany Reed of Eating Intuitively. Uh, she is a holistic nutritionist, a plant-based chef in the city. Uh, so she's gonna take us through a healthy granola bar recipe. Yeah. It is super easy to assemble because we're gonna just basically take all these lovely ingredients oh, yeah. and throw it in the, the food processor and then uh, it'll be ready in a couple hours. So. Okay. We are going to start with two thirds of a cup gluten free oats, gluten -free. which is really great for fiber and Ever. it's almost like that everyday breakfast bar. So some people have oats for breakfast in the morning, but mm. we're going to make this into a bar. And then we have date me, date you, <laughs> yes. date. Um, again, with the dates uh, really high in fiber. Great to help with the uh, reducing of the insulin spike. So anytime we have sugar, our insulin rises. And fiber or fats are what is going to sustain that. So it's gonna actually take that energy source and everlast it. A half a cup of raw cashews, again, specific to the raw, so the nutrients are vital, so the healthy fats are intact. And then a, one and a third of a cup of raw cacao nibs. Cacao! Yeah. And cacao nibs, again, is like cocoa, so it is chocolate, um, and it's packed full of magnesium, antioxidants, and who doesn't like a little bit of chocolate in the morning? Exactly. Yeah. We have three tablespoons of coconut oil. Cool. And that's gonna help to combine and make everything stick together along with the dates. And then it has the medium train triglycerides. And creaminess too. Creaminess, yeah. And okay. a little bit of sweetness. We have a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, which is packed full of chromium, which helps with blood sugar levels as well. Right. We have a half a cup and four tablespoons of natural peanut butter. So again, unsalted, so you can control the salt. And you can use any sort of nut butter or seed butter. Right, uh, depending on, especially if you're like sending them to school with your kids or, yeah, you know, sometimes we're so conscious right now of nut allergies. Mm -hmm. So it might be a better option or another, a different option and a different flavor profile too. Yeah. Using like an almond butter or Yeah, but you could do a seed like a tahini, yeah. which is a sesame seed or a sunflower. We're gonna do a couple cracks of the uh, Himalayan salt. Still a little extra, because again, extra? I love salt. And then what's gonna change this from, at this point you could just blend it up and okay. have it as an everyday right. bar. But we're gonna just take the nutrient levels a little bit higher. And mm -hmm. we're gonna add some superfoods. And specific, we're gonna add chaga okay. and sea buckthorn. Chaga is actually gonna be an immune boosting superfood. It also is an adaptogenic superfood. So if you're experiencing any sort of fatigue, adrenal fatigue, like you're feeling lethargic, maybe you're getting sick super often, mm -hmm. this is actually gonna to help to increase your immune system. And chaga is a mushroom. Right? And chaga is a mushroom. You can right. actually find it widely grown here in Saskatchewan. Yeah. And then sea buckthorn. Right is the balanced berry. It's actually, again, grown here in Saskatchewan too. And it is packed full of antioxidants and nutrients, vitamin C, B6, B, there's like B1, vitamin A and D. And it's really, really great for healing wounds, skin, glowing, your joints. And it just helps to add a little bit more of those nutrients in our everyday life where 
it's easy to get it's it's just easy. into a granola bar yeah. instead of having to, you know, actually eat a spoonful of it, which you're not going to do no. anyways. So you might as well do it that way. Okay, cool. So then now we just blend this all together. We're just going to blend it all together and we're going to cover the top just in case we'd have a right. little bit of uh, oat. Okay, so once again, the mixture is to the consistency you like. So you can again keep it a little bit chunkier or you can actually completely, if you wanted it to be super smooth, you just want to keep blending it for quite a bit of time so that it would um, become a smooth texture. And now we're going to flatten it into our pan. Lining your pan with parchment paper it just helps for easy removable. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to just press this down. And then once it's all pressed down and formed, we're going to pop it in the freezer for a couple hours to seal up and to become one. <laughs> one unit. One unit. One mind, body, and soul. Yeah. And after it's done in the freezer, you can keep it for a couple months. Um, I like to slice them up and then put them back. Pre yeah. Them. So pre-package them, pre-portion right. them. Okay, so it's out of the freezer. It's set. And now we're gonna eat it. Yes. So now I always have to eat it. <laughs> Again, I don't deal with knives. That's all you. <laughs> I'll cut it. We're, we're just gonna chop it lengthwise okay. down. And I like a lot. Again, so I don't usually tend to cut about 12 of these. But some oh, people could. But you could. Yeah, <laughs> I get could. it. I get it. It's just really yum. So, but I can see how this would be really, really filling, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to eat a whole one, especially no. if I'm using it for a snack. Yeah. If it's in my lunch and I'm doing it as like a part of my lunch, that's a different ball game. But you know, yeah, I'd be eating half of them. Right. Pan. Exactly. <laughs> Something. So. Yeah. So we're just going to take one of the slices, and because everyone knows that I usually come accompanied with chocolate at some point of time, I have this um, raw chocolate drizzle. So this is raw cacao, mm -hmm. <laughs> raw cacao powder, and a little bit of maple salt and some vanilla, and then again the chaga. And I just find chaga is such an incredible superfood for if you're going to look at one superfood to bring into your life, other than like the matcha bar that's right. going to give you that energy. Um, chaga is going to be the next top. Okay. So it's sort of like an everyday pantry item where you can. Um, just add it into anywhere, anywhere. It's smoothies or yeah. it's nut milks or it's on top of your cereal mm -hmm. for the kids in the morning or yeah for you just melt it all and there's coconut oil in here too so you can melt it um oh i told you it's that joke yeah <laughs> so you can melt it all and then together and just whisk it so it's super quick and easy it's like a two minute process mm -hmm. and i just like to drizzle it and the more the merrier yes the more the merrier yeah very pretty I always like when you when you like plate it. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna eat that. Egg. Exactly. Thank you very much. Um, coolest thing about this is that it's all whole foods. It's easily accessible, mm -hmm. and there are things that can actually stay in your pantry for a little while, so you don't. Yeah. Eat, they're not gonna go bad. No. So, uh, thanks for joining us, and we're gonna eat this bar now together. This season of Glow Strong is brought to you by GMS Health and Travel Insurance. From chiropractor visits to dental care, travel in the world. They make it easy and affordable for you to live well. Talk to your GMS insurance broker today or purchase coverage online now at gms.ca.